put your hand on my knee while you're standing up smiling. Not yours. Wait a second. <laughs> and now the Brat Pack coming to the ring. I'm sorry, David. I didn't mean to run into you. The Brat Pack making their entrance here at WOW Women of Wrestling. And as Lauren Huntley just told us, this is part of the WOW Trios tournament. In fact, it's a semi-final matchup in the WOW Trios tournament. the trophy so say less we the best oh we the best how do you like that coach is taking the place of ariel sky who has just joined nigel zane and myself here at the commentary table and bk rhythm gonna start things off for the brat pack sasha sparks Gonna start things off for Team Spirit. Ariel Sky, thanks so much for joining us here tonight at the broadcast booth. Ariel Sky, we're so sorry you're in that neck brace. You took that ball in the ring. It was a hard hit. You tried to get back up, as we've shown. You got to your feet. But the referee who's in this match, incidentally, Ben Scheinberg, said you better not continue. I know that was against your wishes. Yeah, David. That I was in there with Ben. He was super professional and he made the right call. Um, I wish it had ended differently, but um, here at WOW, we strive for safety, and Ben was the first one to be there and he made the right call, so thank you. Well, it's great. We're glad to have you next to us. We're sorry you're not in the ring in the action. But Coach Campanelli, she stepped up for you. She joined your partners. And now we've got the Spark, Sparky in there with Pep. Little Sasha Sparks now taking it to Gigi Gianni. Sasha Sparks drives Gigi into the home corner of Team Spirit, tagging in little Pep Riley. With the crossbody diving on to Gigi Gianni, and referee Ben Scheinberg says that's a two count sign headlock applied by the former varsity cheerleader for football, basketball, and baseball, David, and a high level competition cheerleader now making it here at Women of Wrestling. Well, she was selected among those many competitors trying out for Team Spirit, and Ariel Sky, you're the one that picked her. Yeah, you know, when I first saw her, I really thought she had so much pep in her step, and she's really, really just proving herself to me each day, and, you know, she's not giving up. She'll do whatever it takes. Now, you're a flyer, as they say, in the discipline of, of cheer, and Pep Riley, a cheer, right? There's those three disciplines, dance, cheer, and flying which I guess is called All-Star. Yeah, correct, yeah. So we work really well together. Our moveset is flipping awesome, and I'm so happy to really be taking WOW sky high. Well, what we love is when you go sky high off the third rope, Ariel Sky. And hopefully, David, we'll be able to see that soon. Ariel, again, we wish you the very best as Gigi Gianni connects with that scoop and a slam. Oh! This is just the first match. That leg drop, that 
Centon leg drop from Gigi Gianni gets a two count. But David, what a way to kick off tonight's episode of WOW, a semifinal matchup. We will find out for sure who's going to face Exile in the finals of the WOW Trios Tournament as BK Rhythm. And Jay Boogie on the outside, attacking Pep Riley while Ben Scheinberg's back was turned. And now Gigi Gianni going for the cover. Sasha still on the outside. Coach Campanelli still on the outside. Yes, Sasha Sparks and Coach Campanelli on the outside cheering on Pep Riley as Jay Boogie, one of WoW's newest superheroes in the ring, the hip toss to little Pep Riley. Jay Boogie showing us in recent weeks some of those dance moves and very successful debut here in WoW so far. She's already made it to the semifinals of this first ever WoW Trios tournament. Now, Ariel, what would you suggest here? Clearly, Pep Riley's got to get over and make a tag. Yeah. What's going through her mind now? What would be going through your mind? You know, she's just trying to get through to the next moment and, you know, doing what she can. These girls are really hitting hard and she's given the best fight that she could, but I think it's in her best interest to get. She made the tag. There's the tag. The coach is in. with the airplane spin since BK Rhythm into Little J Boogie now. Coach, side rush and right sweep connects. Middle of the ring, Coach said, I'll put you in Coach, and she's getting the two count there. Very close to walking away to the finals of this trio's tournament, David. You gotta be cheering them on, Ariel, to make the finals. Coach Campanelli setting up, could this be it? Yes! That's the buzzer beater by Coach Campanelli. Two. Violence 
is for everyone, baby. <laughs> Especially you, Nigel, on a Friday night. Oh, wait a minute, I'm, I don't have anything bad to say about Holiday. Listen, I'm talking about what you do on Friday night. I just get ready to watch the next episode of Wow Women of Wrestling here with you, David. But as we kick off this matchup, those come on Saturday night on weekends. They do, they do. Unless you're watching Wild Superheroes on YouTube. But I gotta get my beauty rest on Friday so I can be up and ready on Saturday night. Just like always, Nigel, you're scrambling for words like a politician. Your mother would be ashamed. Oh, my mom is proud. She's watching in Georgia now as Goldie Collins and Holiday feeling each other out in this matchup. Referee Eddie Firth in control now as the two women lock up again. Center of the action, Holiday and Goldie Collins. Arguably the strength advantage goes to Holiday, but you see Goldie Collins grabs the hair of Holiday and was able to put her in the corner. She's using the leverage of the legs there to put her in that corner. Now, I don't think you saw she had a handful of hair of Holiday, but Goldie Collins wants no part of the leader of the violence is for everyone movement. Eddie Firth backing up Holiday. David, how about Americana and Santana Garrett chasing off Amber O'Neill and, of course, Jesse Jones. They wanted no part of the All-American Girls. Oh, nice slap by Goldie Collins. She slapped Holiday right across the face. Holiday now grabs her by the neck and tosses her across the ring. Holiday. Goldie Collins got in one slap, but Holiday's getting in multiple ones. And Holiday sits Goldie Collins reeling and follows up with the clothesline. Holiday, no chance to breathe for Goldie Collins. Holiday right on top of her. Now jamming her into the purple mat a while. Goldie Collins is in trouble, but smartly goes to the outside of the ring. You know, Goldie Collins obviously showing that she's been doing some training herself, David. A resourceful wrestler already is Goldie Collins. It's a veteran's move for a rookie. You got that right. But you know, the same kind of training she uses for Alexander, I bet she uses for herself now as she takes down Holiday. Oh my, Holiday landing on the hard part of the ring. Goldie Collins now tossing her back into the wow ring. Goldie Collins on the move. Oh, there's a stop. This might be the best and the biggest opening that Goldie Collins has thus far in this matchup. And David, if she's as smart as I think she is, she'll take advantage of it, bearing those knees into the small back of Holiday. Follows up with an elbow, dropping all of her weight across the back of Holiday in this matchup. But Holiday working her way back up. Fans getting behind Holiday. As I noted earlier, she's gotten a turn from the fans. They're cheering her. And Holiday finally successfully lands in the corner now as Golden Collins goes for that snap suplex on Holiday. Got a little bit of air time there. And referee Eddie Firth down with the count of two, David. And David, an exciting matchup each and every week here on WOW Women of Wrestling. If you've missed a week, don't be afraid to go to WOW, WOWE.com to check out the latest and greatest. Or WOW Superheroes on all of our social media now as Holiday rams Goldie Collins into the corner. Nicely done there. Coming up, fans, if you see in our lower left corner, Ice Cold will be going in against Candy Crush later on tonight. Candy Crush in there against Ice Cold. That's going to be one heck of a matchup, David, on the docket now as Goldie Collins continues to work away at Holiday, trying her best to take down the very unique wild superhero in Holiday, who has really made a statement after defeating Chainsaw just a few short weeks ago here on Women of Wrestling. Goldie Collins giving it everything she has, David, in this matchup. Gotta give her credit. Not many superheroes can hang in the ring with Holiday this long. Holiday hoisted onto the top third rope by Goldie Collins. Goldie Collins going up high. Looks like a superplex attempt from Goldie Collins. If she connects, she can walk away with a big victory. But Holiday blocking the attempt sends Goldie Collins off of that second turnbuckle. And Goldie Collins eats a boot from Holiday. Holiday setting up now. Holiday's got her up swinging. Swinging flatliner connects to Goldie Collins. 
But both women are spent, David. Both superheroes have given it everything they have. The gas is running out on both. Did Holiday hit her head at the same time there, Nigel? I don't think she did. I think she used every bit of force she had in her body to land that maneuver. And thankfully, it took Goldie Collins down, buying Holiday some time, David. The two competitors trying to get to their feet. Holiday with a swinging right hook. Goldie Collins in trouble. Forearm straight from Holiday now as Goldie yes, Collins four. tries once again, but Holiday just proving to be too much. The neck breaker from Holiday. But Goldie gave up with the strength to drive her into the turnbuckles. Hang on just a second, David. Could we see the fisherman suplex? No, not at all. Holiday setting up for the darkness falls. If she lands this, David, it's all over. Goldie Collins goes down with the darkness falls. And at this point, it's all over. for Ice Cold, who has been impressive as of late here at WOW. My question is, to support her out here in this single competition, where is Genesis and Exodus? Those are her buddies. Great question, David, but they seem to be on a unified front as of late. There you see her, Ice Cold. on an undefeated streak here on the line, but for the last couple of matches she's had, she's not been able to get her footing, David, and that's led to her being somewhat frustrated. If you remember, we saw the interaction with Princess Saucy just a few short weeks ago as Candy Crush lost that big match, ending the undefeated streak she had going against Genesis, also from Team Exile. Will the same hold true tonight for Ice Cold? Will she be able to pick up a win over Candy Crush? That remains to be seen. Well, Candy Crush and Princess Aussie, great friends. And speaking of friends, at one point, you might be surprised to know that Ice Cold was friendly with Candy Crush. Doesn't look so friendly now with the waist lock sending Ice Cold down. Looks like a hammerlock applied by Candy Crush. And Ice Cold out here just to, I guess, get herself tuned up for the trios tournament and try to impress her co-members of Exile, Exodus, and Genesis now. Side headlock takeover, keeping things basic in the early goings of this matchup, David. I understand you know somebody coming up in just a little bit of this program that's going to be talking to us. We haven't seen her in quite a while. I know it. You're talking about the one, the only, the phenom of professional wrestling from the deepest, darkest place in your mind. The former Wild World Champion herself is coming up. The Beast, the Beast will be coming up in this episode of Rise. Boston Crab by Ice Cold to Candy Crush in this matchup, and I can't wait to hear what the former Wild World Champion, the Beast, has to say. Simply can't wait now, and there's the crushing backbreaker by Candy Crush to Ice Cold. Candy Crush again. Nice right hook there by Crush. The former boxer now with the avalanche type splash in the corner now. You know, David, Ice Cold is quite the athlete. I mean, you don't get into the finals. Ooh, that looked dangerous. Of the trios tournament without being one heck of an athlete. Looks like Ice Cold was going for a head scissors and a counter by Candy Crush slowed down her momentum, but Ice Cold staying in this thing against Candy Crush. High knee right to the corner. 
And this is certainly sending a message, David, to the team of BK Rhythm, Gigi Gianni, and Little Big Boogie, better known as the Brad Pack. Those double knees right to the face. Ooh. Of Candy Crush. Ice cold coming into her own here and jamming away on Candy Crush. And she calls that the icebreaker, David, now as Paige Prince of Ali, the official in this matchup, saying two count to Ice Cold. Ice Cold hammering away on the back of the neck of Candy Crush. Candy Crush able to work her way out of that maneuver and hooking up Ice Cold. The snap suplex connects. Candy Crush hangs on, floats over, goes for a pin, not enough to put away ice cold. And certainly, David, and other action coming up tonight, our main event, it's gonna be Americana and Santana Garrett. Look at that maneuver by Ice Cold, flipping herself over, coming right back at Candy Crush and giving her a left knee into the face. The face of Candy Crush tonight is taking a pounding. Swinging neck breaker, a little shake, rattle, and roll, if you will, David. And Ice Cold looks like she's gonna climb up top. What is she gonna do here, David? Not only a former weightlifter, but a former diver is Ice Cold, and she hesitated. And Candy Crush just pulls her off the top ropes. And Ice Cold taking quite the crash. That's a high-risk maneuver for the finals of the trios tournament coming up now. Here we go, there's the lights out from Candy Crush, hanging on to the arm, tucking it in, hooking the leg, and this thing's over. Candy Crush, back to a winning streak now. He is your Candy Crush! Candy Crush getting a strong victory over Ice Cold, who really gave her a challenge there.
it's not possibly 100% healed. The veteran Jesse Jones quickly taking out the arm of Americana. She knows that's her best chance at defeating the, the All-American girl, Santana Garrett, and Americana. Americana's in the wrong corner now. Amber and Neil jamming on the chest, now in the stomach. The boots right there. Jesse Jones behind Americana. Americana going down. Here comes Santana Garrett. And Santana Garrett sent back to her corner by referee Jeff McGowan, allowing the time to happen to Jesse Jones now, stomping away at the chest of Americana. They're just laying the boots in, Nigel. And little Levi watching ringside, and you have to think of all the things that he's seen now as his mother just insulted in the corner of Brits and Lamb. Jesse Jones attempts a pinfall. Americana able to get the right shoulder up. Now she's fighting away of Jesse Jones. Americana pushed back into the middle of the ring by Jesse Jones and pulled back by the gear onto the mat. And now Jesse Jones is humiliating her by holding her down on the hair by the boot. The boot to the hair. Now turning Americana towards Santana and tempting her with a tag. That's right, working on the arm of Americana while also rubbing salt in the wound, if you will. Trying to choke out Americana. Sleeper hold there on Americana. Trying to take her out early on, David, in this matchup. If she can't take out the arm, she's going to try to knock her out. But Americana will herself back into this matchup. Jawbreaker. Jesse Jones sends her back down to the mat with a powerful clothesline. Referee Jeff McGowan says just a two count, David. What a main event this is. And hopefully, hopefully Americana can find her way back to her corner, David, to Santana Garrett. Americana and Santana Garrett have been trying very diligently to take down Grits and Glam, but haven't been able to do so, David. Tonight is it their night here on Women of Wrestling. Well, right now, it's certainly not the night of Americanas. As Santana Garrett trying to get in there, she's just got a break. Oh, my, they snapped Americana right over the shoulder of Snap Amber here, followed up by a vicious kick to the back, and now just working on the spine of Americana, pulling back that left arm, which has been injured and in a sling over the last few weeks. Taking Americana down to the mat, David. Angel wings and stretching back is Amber O'Neill with over 20 years wrestling experience. We haven't seen her in WOW in quite some time, making her surprising return and motivating Jesse Jones to go back to her evil ways, David. Amber's leveraging those arms of Americana. Santana Garrett knows all too well about Amber O'Neill, who's clubbing away still at the back of Americana. Americana did not submit. Jeff McGowan asked on that maneuver where both of her arms were twisted by Amber O'Neill if she was giving up, and she did not give up. Despite the pain probably dribbling into that left shoulder as she rolls right there, all she had to do was pick up her hand and hit Santana Garrett, but she didn't do it. And Amber O'Neill, being the smart veteran that she is, twisted and turned Americana and took her right back into their corner where Jesse Jones comes in and puts the boot right to her neck. Well, David Americana knows exactly what she's fighting for. Again, her son sitting ringside now as she hangs onto that top rope now. Jesse Jones catches the boot to the midsection. A tip at Americana with the answer Curry sends Jesse Jones down like a stack of bricks. But Americana doesn't have the strength right now to go over and reach her partner, Santana Garrett. She's got to reach deep, and Tencent of Fortitude's got to be there. Jesse Jones knows she's got to get to Amber, and she can see Amber. Amber's hand is out. So is Santana's, and there's the tag. Santana Garrett is in. Santana in. House of Fire sending Amber O'Neill crashing down to the mat. And Santana Garrett, the fresh woman in this matchup, bringing the fight to Grits and Glam, David. Back handspring elbow connects. Twisting and turning, and Amber is taken down by Santana Garrett. Side rush and leg sweep was good, but Jesse Jones broke up the count at two now. Americana! Kind of jawbreaker to Jesse Jones on that top rope. Santana Garrett now has control of Amber O'Neill. Amber O'Neill reverses the momentum, David. Ooh, and a nasty.
nasty flatliner by Amber O'Neill. Americana comes in and breaks up the possible pin. Americana saving things for her team and now going after her former friend turned enemy, Jesse Jones. Good friends, better enemies. And Santana Garrett blocks the attempt from Amber O'Neill and sends her into the turnbuckle for herself, David. Now Americana's got Jesse and Josie Doe. Here we go into the middle of the ring, but the two, Amber and Jesse, stop each other. And there's the kicks by Americana and Santana Garrett that take them down. Stereo super kicks by the All American girls. And now it looks like they're setting up for it. Yes, it is. It's the supernatural moonsault. And both hook the leg. This is something that she can be proud of, David. This is something little Levi can be proud of. 